Hey again, it's Mike the Tech, and uh, we're here with another Game Maker Studio 2 uh, top down shooter or shoot 'em up tutorial. And today we're going to add a score into our game. So every time you kill an enemy, the score is going to go up, and on our screen, we're going to display text in the top left hand corner. And that's going to display our score, obviously. <laughs> so uh, let's get to it. So the first thing we can do is define a global variable for score. And we could do that in our object player, but every time our player dies and responds, it's going to reset that object score every time it loads up. So we're going to put it in object control level 1. Alternatively, we could also go into our rooms, open up our room, and go down here on the bottom left hand corner and go into creation code. And this is run whenever the room is run. So whenever you open the room, it um, runs this code or whatever you happen to put in here. And um, that will happen when the rooms run. Uh, kind of like the create event of the room. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and put it in object control level 1. Just because um, that's where we're... It, it's a good place to put it. Uh, so in our create event for object control level 1, let's go ahead and find a set global variable. So we're going to drag this in, set global variable, and we're going to call this score. And actually that's a global variable, so let's call this player score, just so we don't uh, mix anything up. And we're going to set that to zero, and that's it. That's all we have to do for this one. We don't have to set it to relative or anything like that. It's just going to set it to zero. And now we're going to go into our enemy and we have a event here thanks to Stephen E. It's in our uh, collision event with object laser. Uh, if HP is less than or equal to zero, destroy the instance. Well, before we destroy the instance, we want to update that global variable. So let's go ahead and uh, set a variable. We could either set global variable or assign variable. Uh, so let's do assign a value to a variable. And we're going to put it right before destroy instance. And we're going to type in global dot player score. And we're going to set this to, let's say, 100. And uh, because we wanted to add 100 and not just change it to 100, we're going to choose relative to whatever the current score is. Um, so every time we kill an enemy, it should give us 100 points. And uh, now we also need to display the score in the top left corner of our room. So we already have object control level 1 in the top left corner. So why don't we use that to display the score? So let's go ahead and add an event. And let's go ahead and add a draw event. And in that draw event, uh, let's drag in, let's say, we don't need set draw color. Set draw color is useful, but by default, everything is set to white. So that's already fine. So let's just draw value and see if this works. So let's type in score instead of caption. And for the value, let's type in global dot player score. And we'll just set this relative to its current position because we put it in the top left corner. We'll hit play. And looky there, it works. Score is zero. So let's go over here and shoot some enemies. We have 100 points. Now we have 200 points. 300 points. Yes, it's working. <laughs> All right, so now that we have a score set up, uh, it doesn't look too impressive, so let's go ahead and change that. Um, we want to set a font, but we don't have any fonts yet. So if you go over here to fonts, right click, and go to create font. And this sounds a lot more um, uh, difficult than it really is. You don't have to make a font necessarily. You just name your font. So I'm going to name one FMT score, just so I remember what it is. And then you select the font that's already installed on your computer. So let's um, let's go into this one looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I have yeah. So that's fine. So let's set this to about that big. 
big. 34, that looks great. We'll add anti-aliasing so it's nice and smooth. These numbers look cool. And yeah, that looks good. So now let's open up our object control level one. And before this draw value, we're gonna set the font. So we go over here to set font, put it above the draw value, and we're gonna choose that new font that we just made. So now let's hit play. That looks cool. All right, so now, oops, if I can kill any of them, yep, there's 100 points, 200, 300, and it works, and I can count. Cool, so now we have a score in the top left corner. You can make this any font you want, any color you want, um, any size you want, just, there you go. So I think I'll wrap it up here for this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for another. Peace.